welcome back to Devon Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we are here for a patchwork block called Turn Dash, and I'm doing this one as part of the A to Z a quick block challenge that I've got running over in our Facebook group. So if that's something that you're interested in, you will find all the links listed down below. You will also find the list for the cutting instructions as well for those that like to print them off. I don't always get them for every video, but this one we've got it. Um, you're going to need a few things today. You are going to need two sorts of fabrics because we're wanting high contrast. So I'm using a white background and I'm using a green fabric that you can see here. As I said, you can print this um, print off off and it's got all the cutting instructions there you are going to need the following though you are going to need a uh, five and a half inch square for the center of our block so you can see here this is this bit here okay you are also going to need four uh, strips of the green fabric and you're going to need four strips of the white fabric and you can just set them aside for a moment and you're also going to need two large squares so we're going to do a quick shortcut um, to do our half square triangles which are our cornerstones in our little block here and we're going to do a quick shortcut for that to make it super easy and you are actually going to have four left over now while the cutting instructions only have for one block you will actually have four um, half square triangles left over so you can always cut some extra uh, center blocks and strips and make two blocks at the same time this block is a 15 inch block when finished and sewn into a quilt um, the sizes are of the squares that you will need you'll need two of them one in the uh, background fabric and one in the colored fabric they are 12 and a half inches um, square okay and they are a little bit bigger so we can um, account for uh, cutting down and all that sort of stuff I always like to make my my squares just that slightly bit bigger for when I'm doing half square triangles so that way I can trim them down you're going to need some pins you're going to need a rotary cutter you're also going to need just some general sewing supplies so thread snips marking quick unpick just in case and you're also going to need a um, square ruler and also a longer ruler which I have off camera just at my um, grab so yeah so we can mark our squares all right so you're also going to need an iron and an ironing pad and a working sewing machine with matching thread so once you've got all that in place and you've got all your cutting done uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your white square and you're going to mark across on it so you're going to mark from corner to corner um, both ways and I'll just move all this other stuff out of the way because I don't really need that right now Okay, and once you have marked that, you're going to take your green square and we're going to lay that with the pretty sides facing up and then the pretty side facing down on this one. So essentially you have your white square with the X on it laying with the right sides together to the green fabric and then we're just going to pop some pins in there to hold it in place just like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to stitch on either side of this line now if you've been following along with this cool challenge you would have seen me do this uh, last fortnight when I made the um, the puzzle mini quilt okay so we're just going to stitch a quarter inch on either side of those lines okay so once you've done that we'll come back and cut it but before we do we're going to set our five and a half inch square aside because we don't need that until the final assembly but we're going to do some chain piecing as well while we're at the sewing machine and we're going to get our strips and we're just going to make the unit because this is super quick to do we're going to put them right sides together and on the side that we are going to stitch we're just going to pop a pin so we know that's the side that we've got to stitch on and we're going to chain piece those through it makes it nice and easy and quick okay and then once they're done we will uh, iron that those uh, seams to the dark side all right so they are now all pinned together now we're going to head to the sewing machine as I said we're going to use our quarter inch seam allowance and we're going to chain piece these pieces through first and then we will 
sew our square to make our half square triangles. all that together set your strip sets aside and you're going to grab your long ruler and we're going to take our pins out okay and I actually should be able to use my square ruler yep. okay so that'll make it a little bit easier to get it on camera so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to find our halfway mark, which uh, the block is uh, 12 and a half, so we want six and a quarter. Okay, we're going to line our six and a quarter uh, mark on our ruler up, okay, and we're going to line the top and bottom of our 12 and a half inch square ruler at the top and the bottom of our square. Okay, once you're satisfied with everything is lining up okay, we're just going to grab our rotary cutter. And I can see here that my rotary cutter is going to go through the junction of the cross that I marked on there. And we're just going to run that through. Okay, and I'm just going to move this out of the way just a touch. And without moving my uh, ruler, I, I'm sorry, my fabric, so, I'm just going to... Once we've made our first cut, we'll line it up on the six and a quarter and making sure that our ruler is matching on either side of our raw edges and I can see if I just t have a look over I can see that my six and a quarter mark on the ruler is lining up with my previous cut mark when I've cut up here so I know that this is now six and a quarter um, square and we are going to trim this down a, a fair bit but just to make sure that we've got enough to allow for any mistakes or anything like that we've got it a little bit bigger all right and then we're just going to cut straight across there that's going to give us four squares. Now what we're going to do is, and I'm going to grab a smaller ruler for this, is I am just going to set my three of my squares aside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my ruler and I'm going to place it on that mark that we drew earlier. Okay. And I'm just going to cut that in half. I'm not cutting on the stitching line. I'm cutting on the line that I just, um, that I marked. Okay. And that has given us a half, two half square triangles. All right. So you're going to repeat that for the rest of your blocks that we've just cut. Okay. Until you've got four so we can sit two of them aside because we don't need those and I won't worry about cutting those I've got quite a few um, half square triangles from different projects and all the rest of it sometimes I just set them aside and sometimes I especially when I'm doing eight I'll set these aside and I'll use them in another project I am actually making two of these blocks so I will end up using them for the other block all right so we now have four half square triangles and we need to press these with to the dark side and also our strip sets as well and then we're going to square up our half square triangles now as we did last time we're just going to put our dark fabric to the top and that's going to roll back and that will make sure that our seam goes to the uh, dark side so we've just set that seam and that just makes everything nice and smooth and then I'll just roll that back and press that into place now remember you're not ironing you are just pressing set the seam and roll it back all right so we have pressed all of our bits and pieces and now what we want to do is we want to square this up 
So using your uh, square rulers, we're going to square this up to five and a half. So remember our center block is five and a half inches. These will be five and a half inches. So therefore our half square triangles have to be five and a half inches. And I'm using my favorite ruler. So basically what I do is, as you can see on this, it's got a line that goes from one corner to the other. And I line that up onto my half square triangle and I line it up where the seams, so where the two fabrics meet. Okay. And we need it to be five and a half inches as it measures right now. It's five and three quarters. So we're going to trim a little bit off each side. Okay. And that's going to make it nice and even for us. All right. So once you feel comfortable that you've got it all lined up, you're just going to put some pressure on the ruler, making sure it's not moving and take a little bit off the side and the top. So you can see that it's just a little bit. And then I'm going to turn it around. Okay. And then I'm going to line my five and a half inch mark up on the the white fabric here that's got a nice clean cut and the green fabric down here so you can see here I'm going to be taking a little bit off there and I might actually have to just go up a little bit just to trim this up a little bit more okay so you just want if it seems like down here we've got more white down in this corner we don't want that we want it to be even so you can see here my point is ending here, so I can take a little bit more off this side here. So I'm just going to line up that center seam with my diagonal, and I'm going to be a little bit past the five and a half inch mark um, over here and down here, and then that way I should be able to clean that up pretty good. But I want to make sure that that diagonal is definitely on there. And sometimes you do have to turn it a couple of times. So you can see here, my it's even. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Whereas up the top here, it's not so, so much. So I want to get it nice and even. It makes it easier to work with everything. And it makes the block sit nicer. And that is going to be perfect. So I can take that little bit off there. A little bit off the top. And I've got it nice and... So you can see here that these are now even. And I'm going to repeat that for the rest of my half square triangles. Okay, so we now have all our components and we're just going to our half square triangles all squared up. And we're just going to check the measurement on these as well. And they're looking pretty good, so... All right, so everything is measuring at five and a half. I'll just get rid of all my scraps and everything. All right, I've just got to check to make sure that I've got all my threads off because they always get in the way. Shouldn't have too many on here because we chain piece them. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our center block and we're going to basically lay out our, um, our block to make it super easy and then we will join our... Um, rows together and we'll be almost done okay so I'm not sure that you can see that all on camera maybe you can I might have to just move it up a little bit all right and then we put the green fabric from our strip sets to the center All right, so as you can see, we've got row one, row two, row three. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew them together. And the beauty about this block when we're sewing our rows together, we have no seams to worry about. So we can just chain piece these through and not stress too much. We just want to make sure that our raw edges are lining up and our block's not going too far apart from the, the other one. So we want to make sure that everything's lining up nicely. Okay, so once we've got our rows sewed together, then we will add them to one another and then our block will be finished. So let's get started. We just take our center piece and lay that on top of our half square triangle. And what I like to do with this is just chain piece it through basically. So I will just pop a pin into the side that I've got to sew. And as I said, we've got no seams to worry about or anything like that. And it just makes it super easy. This is one of my favorite blocks because it is so quick to make. And you can make such a beautiful quilt with it. All right. 
just make sure that you have lined up all of your raw edges so nothing is skew if or anything like that all right so once we've got those done we're going to quickly chain piece those through using a quarter inch seam allowance And then I just lay them back out. I don't worry about pressing at this point because we're just going to sew our um, components onto the end of the row. And again, we just put right sides together, grab our pin. So grab your iron, snip, snip these apart, grab your iron and we're going to press them. But what we want to do with our rows is we want to press them in a particular way to make it easier for our little pieces to go together. So what you want to do is you want your middle row, you want them to go out to the dark side and you want your top row to come into the strip set in the center. And your bottom row the same as this one and what that will do it'll make it super easy when it comes time to nesting all our seams together for our block all right so grab your iron and we'll start with the center one we're going to set our seams on one side and as i said we're going to flip it out to our strip set and then that way it's to the dark side and we're going to do the same for the other side So you can see here, and I always press the back as well, just to help it sit a little bit flatter. Okay, you can see here that the it's going out to the dark side. Okay, so we'll set that aside, and then we'll grab our top one. And now what we want to do is we want our um, seam to come into our center strip set. So we want it to go this way. All right, so I'm just going to set these seams. Sometimes it can get a little bit tricky, so I will go from the back. Get them to sit a little bit better, and I can feel there that they're going to the right spot. And then I'll just press that into place, and you can see it just flattens it down. All right, so there you can see that that's what it's going to look like when it comes together. So now what we need to do is we need to join our three rows together. So starting at the top one, we're going to lay that right sides together. And because of the way we have pressed our... Uh, seams it'll make it super easy to nest our seams so basically what that means is we are going to line up these two seams here that meet with our center block and our center strip set on each one okay and we're going to bring them into one another and line up those lines then I'm going to grab a fork pin which is an abs these are absolutely fabulous and I'll leave a link down below where you can get them it's just an affiliate link that I've got down below. They are awesome. All right. And you want the each prong of the, the pin to go on either side of your stitching. And you probably can't see that very well um, on camera at the moment because I've used um, a white thread. And then what I do is once I've lined up my seams, I will add other pins along the way just to stop it from moving. Okay. Pop that in there. Alright, so once that's all laying flat, I will get my pins and line up my raw edges and place a couple of pins along the way. And then that way nothing's going to move on me and I know that I'm going to get a nice straight seam. Okay, and then the same at this end. And I just use my flat pins or my glass head pins for that, this sort of pinning. It's just my seams that I actually use the um, fork pins. All right, so once that's done, we're going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance. 
and we are going to reverse at the beginning and at the end. Okay, so again, I'm not going to worry about pressing that, but we can see there that our seams have lined up and then we're just going to attach our last row to the middle one. Again, lining up our seam allowances. All right, so get rid of all your long threads now that we've sewn that together and we're going to give that a really good press. Now when it comes to pressing my finished block, I just sort of set the seam and I have it go down to the bottom rows and it just makes it sit a little bit uh, neater for me. And my ironing pad is not big enough. And then the same here, I'll have it go to the top row. Just setting the seams really does help for everything to sit nice and flat. Okay. All right. So once you've removed all your uh, threads and everything off there, or your long threads, you can set that aside with the rest of the blocks from the A to Z challenge. And um, as I said, I'm making all different size ones. Some will be mini quilts and some will be blocks that I'll end up putting into a large quilt at the end of the year. And some will just be regular size blocks that I'll probably make a single bed or something for the couch. All right, so that is the Churn Dash block. I hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Also, if you've yet to subscribe, to subscribe make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell icon beside it and then that way you won't miss out on any future posts and as always thank you so much for coming and for spending some time with me and i will see you all again next time for the letter d quilt block have a great day everybody bye for now